The state government is turning big game hunter, hoping to end a mystery stretching back more than 60 years. It will investigate the thousands of reported sightings around Victoria of big cats, described as cougars, pumas or panthers. It's the mysterious black figure as controversial as it is elusive. But while official evidence of Victoria's big cat is scarce, stories like Simon Townsend's sightings in the 1970s have become folklore. It had muscles that moved under its skin. It was glossy black in colour. It was trying to get away from me and my companions in a sort of belly crouch and mode like this. But the state's big cat riddle could soon be solved, with the government not pussyfooting around in its attempts to explain the thousands of sightings. Uh, there are some very credible people over time who firmly believe that they have seen them. Mold livestock, excrement and footprints have fueled the mystery. Dr David Waldron is completing a book on the existence of a big cat. And there's a great deal of uh, you know, historical records of people sighting, encountering, claims of stock losses and so on that go back to the mid, really the mid-19th century. But not all agree. Zookeeper Noel Harcourt has seen plenty of amateur footage in his career. There's a lot of telltale signs that indicate to us that they're not big cats. Well, this might be as close as we ever get to seeing Victoria's elusive big cat. The minister has fended off criticism of the feline hunt despite many saying the government has its priorities wrong. It has got to be the lowest priority in regional Victoria at the moment for DPI or DSE. Taxpayers won't pay extra for the cat hunt. The government's using bureaucrats who had been working on the now defunct wild dog program. David Boywood, 10 News.